There are many questions about our world that we don't have answers for. For example, where do babies come from? Why is the sky blue? And why does time stop when you're rehaving fun but start ticking faster when you relate for something important? But sometimes we ponder different questions, more specific questions like, what if all of the toilets in the world turned to gold? What if female parrots could talk? And what if we were constantly bombarded by deadly comets? Today we will be answering this last question. But first, let's try and answer a slightly easier one. Why should you subscribe to our channel? Well, it's simple. We keep coming up with new intriguing questions and then answer them with well-researched and informative videos. And if that sounds good to you, which it definitely should, then please do us a favor and subscribe to our channel. Now back to the show, what if comets rained daily? Comets are fascinating astronomical objects. They can be miles wide and travel at speeds of 425,000 miles per hour. They also often have rather smelly names such as Halley, Hale-Bopp, or Comet Hayakutaki. You know, most people know Halley's Comet because they've been hearing about it since elementary school. According to legend, the comet appears once every 75 years and predicts the death of a famous person. However, while the comet part is true, the death part isn't. The reason for that is that the average orbital period of Halley's Comet is 600 years, not 75, and even if it did appear every 75 years, there's no reason to believe it would kill anyone, especially not famous people. Famous people die all the time regardless of whether a comet is hurtling towards Earth or not. Now back to our initial question, what would happen if we were hit by comets on a daily basis? To answer that question, we need to first learn a bit more about how our planet deals with comets in general. Our Earth is flying through a path of comet fragments on a regular basis, but fortunately, most of them are quite small and burn up in the atmosphere before reaching the ground. In fact, most people see these tiny comets as shooting stars. Occasionally, larger fragments make it to the surface, causing minor damage. The good news is that the chances of being hit by one of these fragments are really low. So, if you spend most of your time indoors, you'll probably never be in danger. However, things get much more complicated when we're talking about bigger comets. The thing about bigger comets is that they usually leave a trail of ice and dust behind them. This debris hits the Earth and causes global catastrophes. Take, for example, Comet Shoemaker-Levy 9, which hit Earth in 1994, while it didn't cause any fatalities. It left behind an ice sheet that caused several floods. And now imagine something like this happening every single day. A typical comet is mostly made up of ice, rock, and dust. These ingredients mixed together create a dirty snowball that flies around the sun. The largest ever recorded comet was Comet Hale-Bopp, which had a diameter of 2 kilometers, a mass of 30 billion tons, and traveled at a speed of 250 kilometers per second. If a comet of similar size hit the Earth, it would leave a crater thousands of meters wide and deep. Even worse, it would also throw tons of dust into the atmosphere. This dust would block out the sun and cause a so-called impact winter. A similar event happened 30 million years ago when a comet hit the Earth and blocked the sun. Temperatures dropped drastically and most of the plant and animal species went extinct. Some scientists believe that this catastrophe led to the beginning of the Stone Age. Basically, if a comet hit Earth every day, humanity would go extinct very quickly. However, there's one thing we need to clarify here. The chances of a huge comet hitting Earth every day are extremely slim. Scientists say that even though there are millions of comets orbiting the Sun, none of them pose a threat to our planet. Of course, occasionally a small comet will fall to Earth, but even that happens once every few hundred years, not every day. So what if we change the question a bit? What if a small comet hit the Earth every day? Would life still be possible? Well, we mentioned before that most comets burn up in the atmosphere. 
and the fragments that reach the ground are usually small enough not to cause any serious damage. An example of such a small comet is Comet Lovejoy, which appeared in December 2011 and was about 11 kilometers in diameter. It broke into pieces, but the fragments were so tiny that they were more similar to meteor showers than actual comets. Fragments like these wouldn't cause significant changes in the environment, but if they contained some organic molecules, they could be building blocks for the origin of life. Yes, scientists theorize that comets played a role in kick-starting life on Earth. They may have delivered water, methane, ammonia, and other organic compounds that eventually became part of living organisms. While most of these compounds would have been lost during the impact, some may have survived and sparked the process of evolution. Maybe you're alive today because a comet fragment brought your ancestors the necessary building blocks for life millions of years ago. Okay, but what if we replace those small fragments with a slightly bigger object? Let's say the size of a house. Could life still exist on Earth if a house-sized comet hit it every day? Well, let's first try and figure out how much damage a house-sized comet would cause. First, the air around the comet would heat up and an intense light would burst forth. Then the comet would explode and release enormous amounts of gas. All of this would create a powerful shock wave that would destroy buildings and blow people away like dandelion seeds in the wind. After that, a fireball would appear in the sky and cover the earth in darkness. A thick cloud of dust and smoke would rise above the horizon and spread across the planet. People who survived the impact would have to deal with poisonous gas, dust storms, and earthquakes. Even worse, they would witness horrible volcanic eruptions that would take place all over the world. If somehow life still persisted in such conditions, animals would develop resistance to radiation. Plants would mutate and become larger. Storms would become more frequent. Oceans would dry up and new lakes would form. Volcanoes would reshape the landscape. Earthquakes would cause land to sink and new islands to emerge. Also, the orbit of the moon would change and its gravitational pull would affect the tides in unpredictable ways. In short, if a house-sized comet hit Earth every day, the planet would become unrecognizable within just a few months. Even if some bacteria managed to survive, they wouldn't recognize their home planet. And what if instead of a house-sized object, we had a city block-sized one? Would life still be possible? If a city block-sized comet hit the Earth, it would be visible from space. The force of the explosion would be equal to the power of a nuclear bomb. When the dust cleared, there would be a gigantic crater where the comet had struck. And if the comet hit the ocean, a massive tsunami would follow. If people were still alive at this point, they would face food shortages, contaminated water, and possibly even climate change. It would become impossible to predict the weather. Hurricanes, droughts, and tidal waves would occur more frequently. Summers would be unbearably hot, winters would be freezing cold, and spring and fall would become non-existent. Of course, it's unlikely that such an event would wipe out all life on Earth, but it would cause major problems for humans. At this point, you might think that we're being dramatic. But even NASA believes that asteroids or comets have played a major role in shaping life on Earth. If a city block-sized comet hit Earth every day, the planet's surface would be covered in craters. Life would still exist, but it would look vastly different than it does today. We hope we've convinced you that even relatively small comets crashing into Earth on a daily basis would cause some serious problems for us humans. Fortunately, this scenario is highly unlikely to happen. In reality, most comets are millions of miles away from Earth and pose no threat to our planet. We hope you enjoyed watching video, and if you did, please consider supporting us. Also remember to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time!